So today we are going to have a quick chit chat about what is new from Longchamp. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcome to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, happy to have you here. For those of you who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion to slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself, and of course, celebrating others. So, we're going to talk about what's new at Longchamp, and fitting for that is my bag of the day, which I'm going for a fuchsia vibe today. I have not used this for a little while. It deserves to be used. It is possibly my favourite bag of my collection. These two are currently in contention for that. Um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So I need to use it again. I've not used it. I probably would say I've not used this for three months. Three months, which is terrible, terrible. Um, and I don't even want to say when I last used the yellow or the green, I used the green more recently than I used the yellow. I reckon the yellow, it must have been six months, maybe more. I can't believe that. That's shocking, isn't it? I am getting new storage. So I'm getting new storage so I can, so rather than having these folded, I can have them with bag organisers in and then I can just grab them. So hopefully that'll expand my usage. Anywho, that is bag of the day. So we're going to talk about what's new at Longchamp. And the reason I like doing these videos is because one of the comments that I get a lot from you, and I absolutely love it, is where you say, Nick, you've introduced me to a new brand. I've bought the bags you were talking about and I'm loving them. So I really enjoy that. And I take it seriously. If I'm recommending something or if I think something might be worth a look, I take that seriously. I appreciate the fact that these items cost a decent amount of money. People work really hard for that money. So I, w I don't just say, oh, I like it, if I think it's absolute tat, potentially, or if I really don't have a strong inkling that it could be something worthwhile. So please know that <laughs> with my channel. I know that's something that quite often, I, I watched Autumn's fantastic video on things that YouTubers get criticised for. I'll, I'll show, I'll do the thumbnail so you can go and find it on Autumn's channel. And one of the things that, that YouTubers do get criticised for is where they say it's a great thing and then it, and then it doesn't work out for them or, um, and to be honest, I think that's okay. Um, I have items that I've bought, thought I would love, never used. It's because you found something else, your lifestyle changed, you just got caught up in a moment. You know, it happens. But what I'll always do is I'll always tell you when that has happened. Um, and hey, everyone has a different lifestyle. So the fact that I don't use my Karl Lagerfeld K Pure pouch clutch with the silver hardware doesn't mean you wouldn't if you have more settings in which you could use it or you, do you know what I mean? So I like doing these videos because I like showing you what's new. I also use these as an opportunity for me to reflect on the collection to then go and see if there's anything that I'm interested in in store. Now I've already heard from my Longchamp sales associate about what is new. She sent me some photos. She had some things in mind for me, many of which I've passed on because whilst they were nice. I wasn't interested and I am really conscious of, of what I spend and I don't like making mistakes. I've made the odd mistake when it comes to my, when it comes to my purchasing, but I don't like to make them where I can avoid them. <laughs> Not that anyone likes to make a mistake, but you know what I'm saying. So I've passed on a few and I've said, you know, I'm going to go into, into store in December anyway. So I've said, look, I can always have a look in December. Thank you for the photos. Um, but I can talk you through where, where I was at with all of that. Anywho. So I've got my trusty phone here. Why have I just done that? How do I do it? Okay, we're going to start off in, because Longshop annoyingly still have gendered categories. 
um, on their website. We're going to start off with women's bags, but of course anyone can wear anything, you know, we know that. Okay, so you've got a small mailbox here in black. That is a nice bag. I like the mailbox. I like the winged aesthetic to it. I think the mailbox is a great alternative to Celine luggage if you just don't want to spend two and a half thousand pounds. Um, I can't afford to spend two and a half thousand on, um, on Celine luggage. Uh, the luggage tote, not as in travel bags. Um, I'm sure you all knew that anyway. So, um, but this is a much more, um, a much, what's the right phrase? You can you can swallow this price point more easily than you can swallow the the two and a bit grand from Celine. You've got the E Pure, which is in this gorgeous, gorgeous pink. This pink is stunning, and this is what my sales associate was reaching out to me for because I always say to her, when you say when you see pink bags, send them my way because I would like to be I'd like to be given first refusal on pink. Um, so there you are. Um, the bucket bag is nice. It's structured a little bit plant potish for me, but it's okay. You've got this crossbody, which is nice. Then you've got the box trot, and this box trot is one of their newer styles. And I mean, four, four, five. I love the pink hardware. I love, I love the highlighter pink. I think that's so beautiful. That flamingo pink. I think it's really, really beautiful. Actually, um, it's lovely. And then you've got it in the extra small and the small. When it comes to the box trot, I'm not as enamoured. Um, by the extra small and the small because it's a square. I prefer the rectangular medium, um, which is actually more in shape, similar to the Louis Vuitton Pachette Matisse East West. So again, I would say that's quite a viable alternative for that bag um, if you were looking for something that was a very different price point. But it's nice. The Rousseau, I love this, this um, kind of spotty print. Um, I think that's, I think that's really interesting. Louis Vuitton are doing spots again, aren't they? I cannot remember the designer who's doing it, but Mary from Lumi Level Up recently did a video on the new collection. And I cannot, for the life of me, I've got Murakami stuck in my head and that's wrong. It, that is completely wrong. It's a revival of a previous, of a previous collection anyhow. So it's quite interesting that at a similar time, that's all coming through. You've then got this Rousseau Essential Bucket Bag, which is nice. This cream in the Rousseau Medium and the small. What Something to note with the Rousseau top handles is the anything below a medium comes with a shoulder strap. Um, the large does not. So if you're looking for a large top handle bag and you go for a Rousseau, know that it doesn't come with a shoulder strap, but the medium does. 390. I think that's I'm gonna, I think 390 is actually a really reasonable price point. I do, I do. That would be a great alternative to a Prada double bag potentially. You can open it out. I tend to have mine open like it is there, unpoppered. Oh, the sight bugs me a little bit. That interior is gorge. Is that a pouch? No, the pocket, but the way it's stitched, I love it. I think that's beautiful. Love that. Gorge. And then you've got the hobo bag that I like to call the pit pincher bags. Not just because of that, but because like not just this um, long shot version, but all of them. Les Foulon in an extra small. How small is extra small? Let's have a little look. Let's look at the pink. These bags are really, these types of bags are really having that kind of moment, aren't they? People are liking these. Um, how big is it? Product details. 13.5 by 16 by 4. That is really small. That is very small. Is that like a phone? A little bit bigger than a phone? Okay, anyway, let's carry on. The crossbody, the pink. Oh, this pink. This pink, the Le Foulon crossbody. Again, not my favourite. I don't love, I don't love this particular style of bag. But for example, if you fancied an Hermes Evelyn, but not the price point, you could look at something like this. 
Les Foulons Backpack, La Fah. The energy in this tote, this extra long handles. And these mean you can crossbody it. And I wonder if they've got that shown. So they have, those are some long handles. One thing I would say about Longchamp, and this bugs me, is their marketing doesn't do it a huge amount of favours in terms of they don't tend to show the bags like on a person. Like that, that strap is really long and I remember that it means you can crossbody the bag or it's a very long kind of to the hip shoulder bag. Where is the image that shows that? I mean, how am I supposed to visualise it? How am I supposed to know what that looks like? Otherwise, it just looks like the handles are disproportionate to the size of the bag. Am I wrong? Longchamp, if you're watching, please put photos of your bags on a person. Oh, and tell us the, the proportions of the individual. Because again, it bugs me when places don't do that. Is the model, you know, 5'4", 5'8", 6 foot, 6'2", like, let, let me figure it out as a point of comparison. Okay, you've got the energy, then this extra small, which is cute. The energy, so in these top handles, again, they've got, they've got straps, um, but they've got um, shoulder straps and crossbody, I think you could do, but that's not detachable from my understanding. But it's just a little bit edgier. It's a little bit more sporty. It's a good price point. Um, you know, you're looking at 175 for a big old bag. I like the backpack. I think that's easy. That's fun. That's different. The Le Filet, that colour is stunning. I mean, the bag just wouldn't quite do it for me. Um, however, that is gorgeous in terms of the colour. I, I do adore that. I think it's beautiful. Very pretty. The green collection, they've added this cognac colour. So you've got the tote in the um, large. Then you've got the medium, which is a top handle. You've got the small inner top handle. Tote in a medium, sorry. So you've got medium and large. And then you've got small and medium top handles. You've got the backpack. I like the backpacks. I've got three <laughs> long jump backpacks. I don't really use them like I should. One is my gym bag. Um, but they're good bags. No complaints there. Then you've got this pink in the tote. So again, this was another that my sales associate sent me. And how beautiful is the Hey, this was a green collection. It was the same colour of leather that it was the body of the bag. Absolutely. I'd have bought it instantly. And I'd have probably bought a couple of variations of this. But I'm not a huge fan of the original, if I'm honest. But they finally shown it on a person. So fantastic. There you can see the dimensions. This is a medium. This is a medium. And for me, it's the superior size of 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 the bags that you can buy in Longchamp so there we are that's my thought there but the colour is so stunning it's so saturated and gorge then you've got this crossbody camera bag easy you know throw on and go not to worry about it you've got this slightly kind of funkier backpack energy backpack the belt bag and then you've got the document holders that have come out in the new colours um I had two of these document holders and I gave them to a family member because I wasn't using them. So I had the two originals. So I've been slowly getting rid of my original Longchamps, which were um, the first ones I bought. And then um, I had one in blue and I had one in purple um, and I've given them away. Let's go to the men's collection. Okay, here we go. Lay uh, Pliage Energy belt bag. It's nice, khaki, easy. Could put it across your chest. Could also use the belt bag. Love this briefcase. That's beautiful. Like the orange, actually. That kind of amber. They're calling it orange. I think it's amber. Beautiful. Love it. Briefcase, but has but doesn't look like a briefcase. To me, that looks like a bag, um, and then it's got a lovely strap. So I'm I'm down for that. And three fifty for a, for a leather piece like that, I think is a really good price point. The Le Foulon is their more toned back, paired back 
um, collection, I would say. It's possibly the more classic of all of their collections. It's not branded particularly. It's very simple, it's very elegant, it's very timeless. You've then got this small briefcase here, which again is beautiful, but looks much more like a briefcase or a document holder. But if that's the vibe you're going for, because you don't want it to look so much like a handbag, then that could be a really good choice for you. But I don't think it has a strap. So just something to note. Document folder, we just talked about those. Document folder, green collection. So you've got the navy blue. I think that's a fairly new color for, um, for the green collection, to be honest. I've, have I seen that before? Have I spoken about that before? I'm not sure. I remember for the City collection, which is the coated canvas, I spoke about it, but I don't remember speaking about it for this. So I think that is new. So that'll come in the other green collection styles as well. Navy, I always think is quite a nice, quite a nice choice. More originals, more document holders, originals, originals. Gabin. The Gabin. Okay, interesting. So it's camo. We know I like a camo. Interesting. Like a tote situation. Interesting logo. Kind of stitched almost. Canvas, 295. Not worth the money. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. Considering the fact that you've got yeah, you've got other bags. No, it's not worth the money. It's too expensive. The 3D crossbody, a bit more casual, camera bag style, more of this Gabin backpack. I mean, again, that's a nice backpack, don't get me wrong, but that is a really nice backpack. £400, that feels like quite a lot. I do like it though. I think if that was 300 or 295 and then the tote was 195. I think that would be reasonable. I think it's just too expensive. Speaking of too expensive, the 3D collection. I don't love the 3D collection anyway. I don't love the top handles. I don't love the backpacks. I don't love any part of it, um, especially not the 3D sangle. I just think it's fussy for fussy's sake. Then you have Le Pliage collection, which is in this, I guess almost like a tartan type, kind of checkerboard. Um, which is based on the Alps, so I don't think this is particularly new. And then you've got the crossbody, and then you've got this Gabin belt bag again. 3D, 3D. Croco belt bag. Let's have a look at that one. See, that is leather, and it's 165, and I think that's really nice. This Gabin one is canvas, really blooming underwhelming and is 120 in the plain navy and then 140 in the 140 in the camo i mean the croco one obviously go for whichever one you like but the croco one's just nicer and again the briefcases the gabin's 230 oh you've got that beautiful croco for 270 that collection is mispriced Yes, mispriced. Okay, is there anything else that's worth looking at that's new in? No, let's leave it at bags for now. Okay, so there we have it. That's what's new in from Longchamp in terms of bags. If you'd like to, if you'd like to um, hear my thoughts on maybe SLGs or anything like that, let me know. Travel, um, let me know. But otherwise, it can get really long these types of videos. But I hope that's been useful. I hope it's been nice to hear my thoughts on it. I, I do try um, to make these as enjoyable as they can be. Um, but yeah, go and go and have a look at the website. They've got some great stuff. There's nothing on there that for me is like, whoa. The only, the colours, like that pink for me is whoa. But the bag styles that came in, no not quite doing it for me. However, the the one thing that I think is really stunning is the Rousseau medium top handle in the cream. It's beautiful. That is really stunning. And the price point of 390, I think you'd be hard pressed to find a mid-range luxury bag of that quality, beauty, 
ease of use for that price point. You might, I don't think you can, but let me know. Anyway, thank you so much as always for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care everyone, bye now. Mwah.